I guess I'm not understanding. Stop who? Huh? Cheney and Bush are the criminals who are still running the country, sir. The criminals that who are running our country? Yeah. How do we stop them? That's right. We can't ignore crimes of the past because these criminals continue to commit crimes in our name, genocide right. in Iraq and other places. This is the yeah. way that we well, stop them. Well, that's what we're, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, we're talking, we're talking about creating people's movements and social movements that would take power away from these people who committed these acts and turn the nation on a different course. That's what we're talking about. It's, it's often said that uh, the U.S. soldiers are abroad fighting for our freedom, and uh, often that's a dubious claim, but I think it also um, obscures the fact that folks like you are the people who are really fighting for our freedom, and I just want to thank you for coming here today. And I'd really like and I'd really encourage um, all of you who are left to express your support for events like this. The folks at UCD Student Life organize this. I'm not a part of it, but I just think that the community should really support these kinds of events. So express your support for this. Um, I just have, and I want to personally thank you because you've inspired uh, quite a bit of my activism in the past. And I, I just want to ask you a quite, or actually ask for your reflections and your advice for folks who would get involved with civil disobedience today. Because since 9-11, we've seen a real militarization of, of, the, of public spaces and political protests. And they're really raising the the stakes on civil disobedience, or at least it seems to, for me. And I'm just wondering what words of encouragement or reflections you might have to encourage people to not be intimidated by that. For those of you who are at the DNC and saw the, the freedom cage and the para, it seemingly paramilitary forces that were on the streets protecting, uh, supposedly protecting them from, from us who wanted to peacefully demonstrate, um, I want to uh, get your reflections and your, your support for folks who are going to be facing that kind of militarization today. Yeah. Well, you know, protests are going on. I just read about students in Chicago who, who uh, walked out of their classes and protested against the war. I read about longshoremen on the West Coast who declared a day of not going to load any more boats, uh, the, you know, going into war areas and so on. And, you know, there are all sorts of acts like this that people can engage in. Protests, you know, uh, demonstrations, uh, anything you can do that calls attention to what's going on to the public. And sometimes it involves acts of civil, you know, it becomes civil disobedience when the police say, oh, you have to leave this place that you're occupying and, uh, uh, or you'll be arrested. Well, if you insist on staying, you're committing an act of civil disobedience, right? So you, you have to insist on your rights. You have to uh, uh, not give up the right of free speech, the right of assembly, the right of petition, the right to demonstrate. Uh, and, uh, you know, those are the kinds of things that uh, build up into a, a movement for change. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Zen. Thank you all for turning out this afternoon. I appreciate it. Uh, just a reminder, this event, uh, the entire series was sponsored by the University of Colorado Denver Office of Student Life, Metropolitan State College Office of Student Activities, and the Community College of Denver Office of Student Life. And we had uh, a generous sponsorship from The Onion, which is where I hope some of you saw the ad for these events. Um, I was quite remiss in, in not putting a banner up, but I do want to mention that The Onion helped us out with sponsorship on this. So thank you all very much. Uh, Howard Zinn is now moving back to the book signing area. Uh, there is a line started on the left-hand side of the venue. Uh, go ahead and jump in line. We, we are on a very short schedule as we've got to get to the airport, so uh, we'll get through as many people as we possibly can. And uh, thank you very, very much. <laughs>